In this video, I'm gonna show you how to follow up with your ideal person on YouTube, whether it's a prospect, a customer, somebody that you look up to, another influencer. You can actually follow up with people on YouTube. I've been doing it myself and I get great engagement back. People respond back. People then follow me on other channels and they, I also get new subscribers from following up with people on YouTube. And if you're new to my channel, comment new down below so I can send you this full guide. We put together an infographic that breaks this down step-by-step step so you can copy and paste it and start following up on YouTube. My name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. I've been doing this marketing stuff for the last 10 years, growing my YouTube channel to over 100,000 subscribers and following up works, whether you're following up on social media, email, phone calls, or text. Remind people about you. Don't let people forget. They're not gonna remember you after one interaction, so you need to follow up multiple times. All right, so let's dive into it. Tip number one, go find the ideal person on YouTube, subscribe, and turn on notifications. This will allow you to be one of the first people to engage and leave comments once they post a new video. You'll also wanna start engaging with their posts if they're posting their Reels, YouTube Shorts, and also their normal videos. This will really make you stand out if you're one of the top people always engaging with their channel. Tip number two, comment thoughtfully. People that leave thoughtful comments get a 20% higher engagement rate back. Now that could be an engagement rate from the actual creator that you're following up with, but it'll also increase engagement rate from their followers as well. So if you go to someone's YouTube channel and you see some comments, you sometimes look at their profile and you may subscribe to someone else's channel. So if their followers and their audience are reading through the comments, leaving their own comment, and they see your thoughtful comment, leaving insight, tips, or questions, they may go and subscribe to your channel as well, which will increase the engagement back on your channel. Tip number three, share their content. So you can go take their video and go reshare it, talk about it, or post it on other social media platforms. In fact, sometimes I'll take a YouTube video and I'll copy and I'll repost it on my Twitter and I'll tag the creator talking about how great this video was. This will really catch their attention. If somebody came to one of my videos and reshared it on LinkedIn, Twitter, or other networks and tagged me in it, it would really stick out to me. I would be like, wow, this person is really caring about my content. They're going, they're sharing it with their audience as well. That's gonna really catch that person's attention that you are somebody that they may wanna start paying attention to and maybe responding back to once they see that you are providing a ton of value for them. Tip number four, send a personalized message. By sending a personalized message or DM to the creator on other networks, talking about how much you enjoyed or how much that video helped them, you'll see a 30% chance of them responding. So they're gonna see that you are engaging. They're gonna see you're commenting, that you're providing value, that you're, they're sharing your videos. And now they see a thoughtful DM coming from you where you're talking about, hey, your content's really helped me and you know, maybe asking them an additional question. You have a 30% chance of them responding. In fact, somebody did this on one of my YouTube videos and now he is my thumbnail designer. He subscribed to my channel. He left comments. He shared my posts. He sent me a DM and now he's helping me with my thumbnails. Tip number five, if you can, an interview, ask for an interview or be on the podcast. Any way you can collaborate on the video would be great. If you are an influencer, or you have a large following on another network, you can cross promote with that person on YouTube. So maybe you have a ton of followers on Twitter and somebody has a ton of followers on YouTube, you should reach out and you should try to collaborate with them and basically share your audiences with each other. Now, if you're just starting out, you may not be able to get to this point right away, but it can be a goal for you to try to get to in the future. So that's really your goal. Engage, leave comments, share their posts, send them a thoughtful DM, see if they'll collaborate someday and just continue building up that engagement. Now, hey, that YouTube influencer may never respond to you, but their audience will see your posts, they'll see your comments and you'll be able to grow an even big, bigger following and really start catching some attention on YouTube. So I hope this video brought you a ton of value and remember, comment new if you're new to my channel or if you just want the guide, I'll send you the full infographic so you can actually start copying and pasting these things, following up with your ideal people on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. It'd be awesome if you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.